All right, so I'm back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today I'm gonna show you the Liquid Remix ROM again because I have been using this ROM of the 13th October 2018 build based on Android Pie of Liquid Remix ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro for like more than a week now and I'm gonna show you why this ROM is the best one as of now you can get. So let's begin. So I gotta say first of all this ROM is really really smooth. I never faced any kind of random reboots or any huge major bugs which you can call and this ROM does have the Google camera of the Pixel 3 as you can see from here this is the Pixel 3 camera in this ROM and everything works like almost everything does work super fine here sometimes which I have noticed is HDR plus enhanced in daytime goes a little bit like too much higher it just takes overexposed pictures in like really really raw daytime but otherwise it's like pretty good if the lighting is like normal it captures the pictures with great details i gotta say this is like one of the best cameras you can get and in this room you'll have the camera to api pre-enabled and we have the mi a 2s camera too over here but sometimes when i was taking the portrait selfies and stuff I don't know if it will do it now or not but sometimes it does show the white screen over here but if you take pictures even in the white screen it's gonna be fine so you don't need to worry so both google camera of the pixel 3 and mi a 2's camera is present over here and everything on both works super fine and let me just go to settings now and system here as you can see we have the advanced option and from here you will get this camera to api enabling option by default so you don't need to root or something like with magisk and in about it shows liquid wired as the device name we have the ot update checker but it just fails as you can see can't check for update it shows and let me just show you the android version stuff here as you can see we have the liquid remix logo on top and again this is the 13th october 2018 build liquid remix version is 10.0.1 Android version is Pi as you can see let's go back and the security patch is of October 5th 2018 the stock kernel over here is Derp plus kernel based on pre-release 2 let's go back and everything is fine app openups and stuff is super fine let me just show you as you can see app open up speeds are fine enough and what i like is like even in the end of the day if you open a app which was in memory it stays in memory so that's a great thing all right so let's open these apps as you can see almost every app is in memory so you don't need to worry about memory management and stuff and this is how you can get to the recent apps panel on this rom as you can see this is super fluid and again you can switch between apps just like this as you can see switching between apps just works super fine as you can see switching between apps just works super fine and by the way as the stock launcher over here i am using the launcher launcher this is not the stock launcher by the way I, i'm sorry this is not the stock launcher we have some pixel launcher and stuff as stock launcher let me just show you those does not have or does not come with a lot of customizations so i have been using the launcher launcher which is the alpha one so as you can see over here we have the quick step launcher pixel launcher poco launcher as default launcher those launchers in my opinion does not come with super customizations so i'm just using this launcher launcher to get this google now cards to the left and so that i can like pull down from here and get the notifications panel so that's what i like and i have been using this launcher and this has been working super fine no issues whatsoever no lags no stutters at all and let me just show you that Google Pay works just fine like right away after you install the ROM you don't need to flash magisk for this as you can see Google Pay and stuff works super fine 
without flashing magisk or even using magisk hide so that's a great thing so again the performance is super duper amazing in this rom you can just pull down the notification panel from here and as you can see this is the quick settings panel of this rom we have night light option inside hotspot we do get this 5 gigahertz band as you can see let's go back and in this rom we have like a lot of customizations we do have this double tap to sleep option as you can see but it has a bug like let me just decrease the brightness as you can see we can control the brightness from the status bar itself and if i just leave it like this and now if i like double tap to lock and if i unlock the phone with the fingerprint scanner all right so it's not doing the bug now i don't know why and as you can see it just increased the brightness so yeah that's a kind of a bug and one more thing that i love about this rom is vaulty works right away of like on both the sim slots if you have a geo sim and if you like do a call like if you place a call let me just show you here you do get this recording call option as you can see and this is not present in like most of the roms and you do get this like in call timer option which is which was not working on android pi based roms so on this dialer like the stock dialer it's working super fine we do have this add call option recording call option so yeah that's great and vaulty calls just work super fine you don't need to worry and talking about the battery life i would say the battery life is super duper amazing again because i was getting like pretty much eight to nine hours of screen on time if i push it a little bit so that is just great it's definitely gonna last you a full working day no matter how you use if you heavily use the phone you're gonna get pretty much five to six hours of screen on time pretty easily you don't have to worry about battery life you do have this android pi battery manager and stuff over here you can like if you wanna customize this battery icon and stuff you have bunch of customizations in this liquid launch and as you can see i'm not gonna show you everything from here but i can say that pretty much all the things you need is present over here we do have the lock screen customizations like the face auto unlock and stuff let me just show you as you can see we do have the face auto unlock and stuff so you don't need to worry about anything most of the customizations you need are present over here and in terms of gaming performance let me just launch pubg and show you the gaming performance now and we do have this like from sides we get this android pi volume panel as you can see you can just control the volume like this you can put the phone in general like this you can put the phone in vibrate and stuff so i'm playing this game in hd high settings as you can see that's it okay
so as you can see even after heavy gaming the phone is not hitting too much let me show you the battery temperature now as you can see it's 40 degree but it's not that hot to touch so yeah in my opinion gaming performance is fine enough if you wanna play pubg this is a good rom again so yeah in terms of day to day usage normal gaming performance and normal day to day performance camera performance and stuff this rom goes way ahead of other roms pretty much just because it has this pixel 3 camera and MIUI camera as by default and it has like the google pay and stuff working super fine just by flashing the rom like just after flashing the rom and make sure if you are flashing this rom just make sure you download the rom from the description box below and you flash the micro g apps from the description like just flash arm64 9.0 micro g apps so yeah that's been pretty much it that's what i wanted to talk to you guys about this rom give it a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from carry and tech signing off for today and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now